Hi, my name is JD, and what we're going to be doing today is finding central the measures of central tendency, which are mean, median, and mode, and then the rarely one use uh, mid range. But for sake of um, completeness, I'm going to include it. But you won't normally see it. The set is the numbers are one, three, five. 10, 17, another 17, and 21. So if you would, pause the video and try to find the mean, median, mode, and if you know how, find the mid-range. All right, mean, often you see it as this formula. The mean equals the summation of x over n. And usually I equals 1 to n, which means, let me mark this one, which means that you f basically add them all up and just divide by the number of items that are there. That's how you find average. Another way of saying mean is average. So you would add 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 10 plus 17, plus another 17, plus 21, all over, and I think that's seven items, let me just double check, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if you would, plug that in your calculator. So you plug in your calculator, do one plus three, plus five, plus 10, plus 17, plus another 17, plus 21, you should get 74. And so that's 74 divided by seven. And you should have gotten approximately 10.571. You can round it to a number of decimal places, usually you know, two or three is pretty good, uh, or just one. It just depends what you're looking for or what your teacher wants. And usually we'll say that in directions. All right, so that's your mean. Your median is, another way of median is middle number. So just arrange it in order. It already is, so I don't have to do that. The middle number is 10, right? You have seven. Seven divided by two is 3.5, right? And so there's three on this side and three on this side. So it'll be the fourth number, you just round it up. Now, if it turns out to be even, an even number in the set, just take the middle two numbers and take the average of those middle two numbers. So here's just 10. Mode, just think of the one that's most frequent that you see. Now, sometimes there could be a tie and sometimes there could be no mode. Notice here, the 17 repeats twice. So that means 17 is the mode because it appears most often. That's what mode is. Now, mid-range, again, you're going to rarely see this depending on what statistics you're taking. But mid-range is just simply high plus low divided by 2. And so you just do that, 1 plus 21 is 22 divided by 2 equals 11. All right, and that's um, central t measures of central tendency, and that's it.